Okay, today we're going to take a look at Manjaro Linux. Um, first off, you head off to manjaro.org. Click on Get here. And it'll take you to their current releases. Right now, the, uh, their main edition is the XFCE edition, which is the one we'll be looking at. But if you want, you can also get a KDE version and a GNOME version. They also have various community spins, I guess you would call them, community releases with different uh, desktop environments. But for today, we're going to take a look at the 64-bit XFCE, so we'll click on that and it'll take you to a SourceForge page where the download will start automatically in a few seconds. And you would click Save, but here I've already downloaded it, so I'll go Cancel. And we'll do an install in VirtualBox. We'll start right here. Full screen, so give you a better idea what it's like when you're doing it on your computer. Okay, this is the first screen you get. You can adjust your time zone, which I will do now. Set it to America and Toronto. Here we go. Keyboard is US. Driver is the free version. And we'll boot Manjaro and hit enter. And it'll load up the... Uh, the CD, the live desktop, which will give you an idea of what it's like before you install it. You can play around with it and uh, it doesn't do anything to your hard drive. Just gives you a good idea if all your hardware works and uh, if you're interested in what you do for the install, which we're going to go through today. Shouldn't take that much longer to boot up. It seems to be having a little bit of difficulty here. It usually finds all your hardware and everything and uh, boots up no problem. Just give it a little bit of time. Okay. We should be there. It usually goes a little quicker on your computer on VirtualBox. It does tend to slow it down, especially considering I don't have the fastest computer in the world. And the live desktop is loading up. And there's your live desktop. Comes up with this startup screen if you want. You can launch the installer right away. I'll just minimize this. Or you can look around and see what everything is and what's included. What intranet. You have your Firefox, multimedia things. But say you've played around with it, you're interested, you want to get it started, you can either click the install Manjaro here or we'll just go straight from the uh, the welcome screen and hit launch installer. Give it a second or two to load up. <clears throat> and it's the Calamari's installer if you've ever seen it before. It's it's common um, amongst a lot of the uh, Linux distributions that use this installer. Language is United States. English, yes. We'll click on next. Toronto time zone. Found it. No problem. That's good. Now, I am going to use the English US keyboard. That's what I'm using, so I'll click on Next now. And if you would have uh, Windows and you want a dual boot, you can go... Actually, it doesn't show it here because uh, I don't have uh, <laughs> Windows on it. But uh, you would have an option for um, Install Alongside. And then you'll have a little slider here, which you would say how, how big you want your Windows partition to be and how big you want the Manjaro partition to be. And you click Next, and it'll do it all automatically. But I'm just going to do Erase the Disk and 
This is what it sets up, a swap of 4.3 gigabytes, Manjaro 15.7. That's good enough for me. The bootloader will go on the uh, master boot record of the dev SDA. SDA is your, your first hard drive. That's good, I want it. Click next. I could have also encrypted the system if I want. Actually, I'll try that. I'll just click on en encrypt, put a password in. Do it again to confirm. There we go. Now my hard drive will be encrypted, so you will need to have the password to have access to it. Click Next. Put in my name. I'll put in Manjaro. That's good. Name of the computer, Manjaro PC. You can name it whatever you want. I'll leave it as it is. Put in a password do it again to make sure you don't make any errors check sign means it's good um, use the same password for the administrator account that's good I don't need a, a second root password now it's giving you an overview of everything it's gonna do what how it's gonna do everything that's my hard disk as it is this is how it's going to be afterwards It'll create this, create that, create that, install it on here, and install the bootloader. That's all good with me, so I'll click Next, and it'll start. Now it'll be formatting the uh, hard drive, creating the file system, doing the encryption, everything else. So I will pause this and come back when it's done. It should take about 5 to 10 minutes or so, usually. So I'll pause it now and I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. We're almost uh, done now. Just configuring the hardware. As you can tell, that took maybe about 10 minutes or so. Ninety percent. We're almost there. While it's installing, you could always play around with it. And see what other things but you know any applications you start is definitely going to slow it down so I'm not going to bother doing that but show you a little bit what's in included games they have Steam graphics of course GIMP which is the GNU image manipulation program uh, multimedia VLC player audacious for music have the full LibreOffice suite. I'm not sure if it's the full suite, but they have uh, most of it. And system settings, you have your PAMAC add remove software, which you also see down here. Two available updates, but this is a live system, so I'm not going to bother updating it. Okay, doing miscellaneous post install configurations. Has a little slideshow that uh, gives you an idea of, you know, what to expect once it's installed. And a big thank you. Very simple installer. It's not really uh, that complicated to get through. Just a little bit of patience. Okay, we should be almost done. It's doing the final post install configurations. And once it's done, it's basically a reboot and you're into your new system. There we go, all done. You can click the restart and then done and it'll reboot your computer but I've already installed this on my uh, my physical machine so I'm just going to shut this down and then we'll continue it uh, on my actual install I'm going to click here and shut down so I'll see you in a bit okay so we're booted up into our fresh Manjaro uh, install this is what the, your desktop looks like. 
this uh, Manjaro Hello, which is uh, comes up automatically. A lot of documentation, uh, their wiki, access to their wiki, support forums, chat rooms, mailing lists, how to get involved, whatnot. I don't need this to start every time I boot up, so I'll turn that off and close it down. This is the desktop. Has a few icons for the trash file system and your home folder. Have access to everything through here. Use a Thunar file manager, which is a good file manager. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We'll take a look through the settings. Your typical XFC settings appearance, desktop, whatnot, hardware, display, keyboard. But they also have the Manjaro Settings Manager that gives you access to a few more things. You can update your kernel, install language packages, change your locale, user accounts, easy access to create uh, new user accounts, uh, time and date if you want to change your time and date, and hardware configuration. Double click on that. And if you need any proprietary drivers, you can it'll look through your system, see what you have. Click auto install proprietary driver or just auto install the open source drivers if you're satisfied with that. I did the uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, let me try that again, NVIDIA proprietary driver. Find that it works better on my system. Yeah, so it's, 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 this is a really highly polished XFCE uh, desktop experience. This was uh, one of the first Linux distributions that I started out with. Um, it's, a, it's certainly different from uh, your Macintosh or Windows. Actually, not that different from Windows, though. It, does, you know, it seems to have a start menu type of thing with your access to different things on the side here. It comes with quite a few applications. Steam pre-installed for your gaming internet firefox i downloaded vivaldi i really like that web browser uh, multimedia audacious mpv players and whatnot actually i downloaded the uh, m player here uh, system grub customizer which i also downloaded yeah it's a it's a really nice experience um, I highly recommend this for uh, a new user wanting to get a touch of the uh, Arch Linux experience. Manjaro is based on Arch Linux. It's not a pure Arch, but uh, I think they have their own repositories and whatnot. But it uses Pomac as a graphical front end to uh, Pac-Man. So you can either, either go to your terminal and do your, your Pac-Man stuff through here, or if you're more graphical, you can just search for packages here. Uh, look for Google and go to the AUR and there's your Google Chrome if you're interested in downloading that. I don't want Google tracking me everywhere, so I prefer to stay away from it. I generally use Firefox or Vivaldi or even Chromium. But anyways, this isn't a review of... Uh, web browsers it's much more of a manjaro highly recommended uh, really nice polished xfce desktop experience for someone getting into linux this is probably a, a really good way to go i i recommend it as highly as uh, any beginner's linux distribution ubuntu linux mint uh, manjaro should definitely be considered so that's all I've got to say for now. If you enjoyed this uh, install and overview video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It'll encourage me to keep on doing more of these uh, install and overview videos. And don't forget, you can also uh, comment in the comments below. So thanks for watching and bye for now.